what is the longest road trip you've ever done? How many days, how long, who was in the car? Comment below and Brett Kissel will share his epic road trip tale with you in this week in the COVID-19 country music update. I'm Greg Reynolds. First, if you saw anybody at the grocery store in public during COVID-19 with a makeshift mask, what were they wearing? Because Dean Brody told us this week that before he got a real mask, he wore, yes, his wife's underwear. You know, I wore Andrew's underwear once into or twice into a store, and that was maybe that's cool. Please tell me know. you didn't but actually. Then, did you really do that? Did you really? Yeah, no, it worked really good. Like it just fit just right. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were camo. They weren't. Like, yeah. You wore an underwear. No, I'm serious. For a and face men's mask. Men's boxers work great too. There's a whole thing on YouTube how to use men's boxers. This was before we had available masks. Now so I wear masks. You decided I, I don't want to wear my own boxers. I know what's been in there. Let let me grab my wife's. <laughs> Underwear yeah, anytime. Instead. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get any no weird looks, or were people just totally fine with this dude and his wife's underwear over his face? I don't think they knew. It, it looked pretty like, man, I made it look good. I had, like, <laughs> tied up. <laughs> Jesus, that is the best. I made her thing. underwear look good. <laughs> I did. This is probably the greatest thing that wow. could have come out of this conversation, Dean. You have yes, no idea how beautiful. much I like you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wear my wife's underwear. <laughs> This week, we also got huge news from Garth Brooks. He's going to be doing drive-in movie concerts. One night, a bunch of drive-in theaters across North America, June 27th. Here's a little bit more of the information. Garth Brooks, Saturday, June 27th, on drive-in screens across North America. On sale Friday, June 19th. $100 per car or truck, all-inclusive. Limited availability. Only one way to buy. Ticketmaster.com slash Garth Brooks. Presented by Encore Live. But it's funny because as excited as we are for a Garth Brooks driving concert, we're getting one this weekend, actually a bunch, from Brett Kissel, who's doing, I think now, eight in total over two days. And what's crazy is I was asking him about doing that many shows in a row in one day and how he picked up tips from opening for Garth back in the day. And now these two guys are both doing huge drive-in concert series. Here's what he said about learning from the GOAT, Garth Brooks. Watching Garth has been so special because it's like watching Muhammad Ali in, in the boxing ring. You're bound to learn something. It's like watching footage or, or live, uh, you know, Wayne Gretzky on the ice. You're gonna learn something. So getting a chance to watch Garth like 40 times, you're bound to learn something. And finally, we had a name change in country music this week. Lady Antebellum is now just Lady A. They said they didn't realize all those years ago when they put antebellum in the name that it referred to a period of time before the Civil War in the States that still had slaves. And so they wanted to not be associated with that word, with that time period at all. And we already called them Lady A anyways, but good for them for taking a stance, for making a change. Because we all need to do that. I'll be with you again soon. I'm Greg Reynolds with another COVID-19 country music update.